Concealed carry, to be effective, needs to be part of your lifestyle. And there are a lot of options on the market for different ways to carry many different kinds of pistols. And there are a lot of great options. One of the things a buddy of mine uh, that he has done that inspired me toward what I'm getting ready to show you is the pocket holster. Just a very simple, no frills, no external attachments, but just something that would slip in your pocket for a no print. And that means, no print means you can't see the gun from someone that would observe you in the way you move. You know, concealed carry really limits a lot of the ways you can move, limits what you can wear. And the more options you have, the more easy it is to conceal carry, which I feel is a great responsibility. So with that, all that being said, I just found a great product. In fact, I've been looking at it for a little while, but it's called the Pocket Packer. And it's by DowTechForce.com. This guy, Alex Dallas, he makes these holsters right here in the USA. They're just great concealment type holsters. But as you can see, a nice leather with rough on the outside, smooth finish on the inside. And a really quality product. Now you guys know I love pocket pistols if you watch my channel. And here are just the three sizes that he has. Uh, the first one is the number one, which is the PP1. This is the model PP2 and the model PP3. The PP1 is for small pistols with an extra magazine holder here. So you can carry your extra magazine all in one simple package. It's 100% uh, cowhide leather, top grain, great stuff. And uh, here's the, uh, the logo here, and he has a little tag. As you can see, it's dialtechforce.com. I'll have his uh, contact information uh, in the description below. Uh, has this nylon stitching, it's heavy nylon stitching, and just a very quality product. As you can see, the smoothness, the tan leather here that makes it real easy to draw your pistol. And then you have the rough exterior that keeps it secure in your pants as you draw the pistol. Now, as you can see here, I have a, just a pair of shorts. This holster will slide right down into the pocket. And then there's no printing. There's no shape of the pistol. And then can easily be pulled out without fear of pulling out the holster as well. And then returned also in a very safe manner. With the, um, then you're going to pull the whole thing out. With the trigger guard covered here, it keeps you from accidentally setting this off. Then just putting it in your pocket uh, freestyle. Plus it keeps it in a position to where the grip's up. And with a little practice, you can really get proficient at drawing it this way. Now this can also fit in a rear pocket. And where your billfold would be, and as you can see, this would just look like a regular billfold if you wore your shirt over or even tucked. It makes it really easy and convenient to pull this pistol out. Uh, one thing you could do also is have a small card to keep your uh, information in the front of your pocket if you were going to be carrying this instead of carrying a billfold. Now with cargo pants, it really makes it easy, but it keeps it together. And as you can see, even in this front pocket, pulling out this 442 Smith, the holster fits easily in that pocket. And will also, of course, fit into your front pocket as well. Another option is to put it inside of a jacket like this if you're out on a date or even uh, dressed up you can wear it. Your gun is very handy and the holster stays secure where it is. So it just makes a lot of options. This is a perfect size and again no printing in fact, you could even have somebody come up to you and press up against you, and they would only feel this solid leather. You know, I was talking to Alex a little bit, and I mentioned that this was the, the pistol packer. And this is actually called the pocket packer. And because of it has so many uses outside of the pocket, just to protect your gun, to have it like sitting in a console of a car, or on your desk, or in a drawer, I believe we're going to change it to the pistol packer which I think really more adequately describes this great holster system. Here in the center console of my car, you can place the little pocket packer. 
it's not going to move around. Here in a glove compartment. Another option is if you're carrying some sort of bag, you can also slide the pistol uh, with the holster down into the bag and it'll keep it into a uh, upright position. So if you ever needed to get to it, you could reach easy access. Holster stays retained. Now as far as your size for your pocket, uh, you can pick out the different ones. You can go to the website and uh, it's got all the information you need. Each one of these has all the different pistols that will fit. Uh, the PP1 is for small pistols and a small magazine and really I think this will fit from 22 all the way up to a 20 I mean a 380 size magazine uh, this is the same it's actually just a it's about the same same dimensions except without the uh, the small magazine and it also fits the smaller pistols and as you can see this little um, Colt Mustang is considered a smaller pistol fits very nicely and then here the uh, PP3, which has this little Smith & Wesson uh, Model 442 or any kind of Chief Special, this will also fit the Glock 26 and, uh, and other pistols of that size. So this is a lot larger. In fact, there's plenty of room, not excess really, but there's plenty of room in here for this pistol and for much larger pistols as well. So, um, but again, you know, you, if you just to decide what size you need, you need to go to the Dell Tech Force website and just check it out for the size and that's what I did so um, but also as you can see this has a white stitching it also comes with a you can get a black stitching it'll give you a choice for right or left hand uh, it'll give you a choice for either black or brown and then the white stitching or the color of the leather stitching now these only weigh about four to five ounces and as you can I'm going to take these pistols out to give you more of an idea of the holster itself. But just to see the quality, but four or five ounces, very lightweight and, uh, and very compact. Here are just some shots of the quality of the holster without the packaging behind it. The PP1 with the extra magazine runs $22.95. Uh, the PP2 runs $21.95, it doesn't have the extra magazine, and then the PP3, which is the larger one, is $23.95. So they're very reasonable, especially for leather. And as you can see with this tanned leather, uh, you know, that's, I mean, these are really reasonable, well-made holsters for that kind of money. Also, if you tell them suit sent you, they'll give you a 5% discount. This is also where um, I got my concealment t-shirt, the Conceal Carry t-shirt that I've reviewed a while back. I'll have the link to that also in the description. I picked these up at DowelForceTech.com. Great website. Uh, I mean, you can't beat it. Good leather concealment holsters for under $25. I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Now, Deltech. De dot DaltechForce.com. And here is the Daltech leg, the Daltech uh, Force.com Lego. I mean, I picked these up at DaltechForceTech.com. DaltechForce.com.